All right, now we're doing 7Q testing, one, two, three. This is by ACR, and 93% of the people like it. Our team is writing a fancy new text editor, and we've been tasked with implementing the line numbering. We're gonna write a function which takes a list of strings and returns each line prepended by the correct number. The numbering starts at one, format is in colon string. Notice the colon and the space between. All right. So basically, we're just going to do a map, and we're going to say, uh, we're going to do like uh, element comma index, and then we're going to say index plus one, colon, space, element. All right? Basically, that's all we got to do. Uh, so if you don't know about the map method, the map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So in this one, every one of these elements are going to be multiplied by 2. So it's going to be 2, 8, 18, and 32 out of 1, 4, 9, and 16. Uh, the syntax we're going to use is this one right here, map element with index, and we're going to have the arrow, and then we're going to have the expression after that. All right? So for this one, let's start off by saying, uh, hmm, equals... Okay, number equals array, and let's turn the rest of this into arrow, and let's just call this const so it can't be changed later, all right? <clears throat> Pardon me. So, uh, like I said, we're going to say array.map, and then we're going to say, inside these parentheses, uh, element, comma, index, and then an arrow right here. And for the expression, we're going to be using the template literals. And template literals are literals delimited, are literals delimited with backtick characters uh, for string interpolation with embedded expressions. So basically, we're going to have uh, the backtick characters here. If we need string text, we'll put it there. But we're also going to be using these embedded expressions, which is an expression inside of a thing with, uh, it's going to be wrapped up by uh, curly braces and also a dollar sign in the front, right? So we're going to say uh, backtick characters, which is to the left of the one and above the tab key. And then we're going to do um, the dollar sign curly braces, the embedded expression there. Then we're going to colon space and another embedded expression. And inside these embedded expressions, we're going to say index plus one, since we're starting at one. And then right here, we're just going to say element. Element. And let's see how this works. Test it out. There we go. Attempt it. Great. Submit it. All right. And it's pretty much the same as this. It's pretty much exactly like this one, uh, just different. <coughs> but yeah, this one's the same. It just doesn't use the uh, the what is it? what is it? The template literals, uh, and it doesn't use the arrow functions at all. So let's go over here to mine. And it's going to be 11 of us, of us plus these folks. Best practice, in my opinion. Very much like this. And we'll see you next time.